Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts and to the Imperial Austrian Campaign, where we're kicking off with the Crusade against the Italians. Uh, because what do they even have? Um, it destroyed a bunch of ships at the end of the last episode. They have one armored cruiser, three protected cruisers, and ten torpedo boats. There's their armored cruiser. There's two of the protected cruisers. Wait, what? Venezia. What? Did they have two? Okay. They very clearly have two. Oh, unless this is one of them's an ally? Nope, they have two. Okay. Well, <laughs> the Krems is going to go and deal with the Venezia here, I think. Because, yeah, if we can just basically eliminate the Italian fleet, that will kind of ruin their army logistics. Um, thanks to uh, Nathan, who the author of the Twigs and Fixes mod, which you can find a link to in the de video description, um, he has discovered how army logistics do actually function. Because um, in the last campaign, I was very confused how, how a nation with no ships can still have 100% army logistics. Well, um, there, there's quite a few factors. One, the the burn, ones that players care about is uh, power projection, uh, more power projection. So, more bigger ships means more army logistics. That makes total sense. Transport capacity being as high as possible, uh, again, makes total sense. Um, the one that maybe is not obvious and that's the one that was causing the weird issue. Uh, basically, the game kind of works out right. How much money do you have that you're not spending on the army? So it takes your, your yearly budget, removes the army budget from it, and then divides by the other population, right? So, your non-home population, your colony population. Now, I actually need to look at the formula again to figure out if that can produce a uh, divide by zero error, because I suspect that it can. Um, however, uh, <laughs> even if it's not doing that, basically what it means is if you have a stupidly high um, funding compared to your other population then uh, your other logistics is going to get stuck at like 100%. And that's exactly what was happening, because I was playing on Legendary and the AI gets free money. Oh, fuck's sake. I was hoping to just... Uh, use my torpedo boats to take out theirs. Not really a role they're designed for. I really need some proper destroyers for that. I thought they'd be able to manage it, but apparently not. Oh, torpedo hit on a protected cruiser at the back. Wow, that went really long. out. That one down. How's the crims doing? Blasting away. Oh, they're out of fuel. That makes them nice and easy to deal with. Bye-bye to you. Transports have guns? Yes. Okay. We'll uh, help the cruiser take out that torpedo boat. On the draw with ours. We need to take damage on them unnecessarily. Bye to your torps. Oh, 
Right, I think the Krems can deal with the rest of them. Yeah, it's the same type of protected cruiser we saw earlier. Not a bad layout uh, and design. It's just uh, been hampered by the fact that the uh, AI sighted forego turret armor at the start of the game. Um, <laughs> should now be fixed. But uh, I've got to wait for the newer designs to percolate through. I'm surprised at how good this concept has been. <laughs> of uh, I, I know it's a historical concept, and it probably would be. I don't even, don't even. I don't know the Austrian Navy that well, but they may even have built something along these lines where it's kind of second-class battleship with uh, big, big guns on an armored cruiser that's not really protected against its own weapons. But uh, just kind of has these oversized guns to just give it a lot of punch. And I guess in theory would be able to supplement a battle line. Certainly suiting our purposes just now. Finish her off, please. Thank you. Right. I won't make you sit through uh, the uh, slow overhauling and murdering of transports, but uh, rest assured it will happen. Oh, okay. One of them decided to explode. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you on the post-battle results screen. Alright, there we go. Confirmation that all the transports went to the bottom. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, uh, let's load up the next convoy battle, shall we? Okay, uh, next we have the stair. Uh, this is a, again, pretty lightly defended convoy. Should be able to go in and smash it up. And then the Italians probably don't have much of a fleet left. We'll check on it. But uh, apparently the politics screen lies. Uh, unless I... Although now I think about it, I don't remember seeing a, an armoured cruiser in that fight that we just did. I... Oh, jeez, I'm tired. Right. <laughs> I'm tired and I think I'm going slightly insane. Um, I mean more insane than usual. Right. Uh, let's go. Do do. Uh, where is it? That way. Thank you, retreat function. Right. Round we go. What else have we got? We've got uh, Super Enforcer, Super Enforcer, and Regular Enforcer. Cool. Torpedo boats. These ones do have fuel. Flooding hit, though. That's helpful. What's their torpedo range? 1.6. So we do outrange them with our own torpedoes. Always helpful. One down. Uh, 
And we have a reasonable amount of firepower to throw at it. Nice high rate of fire. There we go. Even here with a torp, although it was a dud. Yeah, look at all those hits from the three inch guns. Torpedo boat ambushes are really starting to fall off in effectiveness now. Now that Mark II guns, and even Mark III guns, I think, on some of the ships, uh, starting to appear. Yeah, Mark III, three inch. Um, that's a that's a very nasty. No, I was going to say very. Let's stop Southfield and taking a torp. Like a doofus. Right, you two. Get yourselves in that convoy. Are two protected cruisers in here, but uh, they are probably on a screen command for the transports, so they're not being particularly aggressive. And it means that we should be able to just overhaul this convoy and destroy it. Which, again, lovely. Destroy transports, lowers army logistics, provided the AI doesn't have free money. I... I have been thinking about the difficulty levels. Uh, let me know in the comments what difficulty do you normally play Ultimate Naval Dreadnoughts on. So I almost never play hard. Um, I always, nearly always play either normal or legendary. And I know that what people would actually like is for the designs to be harder to fight against, like have, have to fight against better designed ships. Um, which obviously I am working away on, because uh, all legendary does is give it does give them a tech boost, but the money boost just means you're facing down hordes of stuff. Yeah, let me know what what do you like to see from a see from a difficulty in terms of the money and the tech research boost. Um, do any of you play on hard? Do any of you play on legendary? Uh, do you mostly play on normal? Yeah, I, I would actually be genuinely curious. So please let me know. I, th I read that as the Alderan. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Just torpedoed Alderan. No. Um, it's a different Imperial Navy. Spirit of Defiance, going toe to toe with the Monzambano. And has successfully sunk it. Pretty good. Next up, we have the Museo. Atendolo. Torpedoes explode. Take on water. Oh, yep. Ruin them there. And those transports won't last long at all. But I will see you on the uh, results screen. All right, there we go. Confirmation that all that has been sunk. Very good. 
Right, there's one more to do. Let's load it up. Right, the last battle we have is this one. This is um, probably a bit much for the Koros and the Fearless to do on their own. So we'll wait. Um, we'll wait and see if that naval invasion goes through. If there are more interesting battles, I will show them off. But if it's just very similar stuff, then I won't, because obviously Italy doesn't have very many ships. Um, they are building five ships, so uh, we'll see what see what they come up with. Um, in the meantime, I would like to keep the Americans uh, away from bothering us, for sure. And possibly the British, because whilst I don't mind having another go at the British... Uh, I'm not in the best place to do it. And they have somehow spent out 14 battleships. So I might also do some diplomacy to keep them off our backs as well. Or oh, they could immediately declare war of in the very next turn. Uh, fine. You got it. Uh, I'm not planning on having a go at the British. So uh, if they want to come at us and... Uh, we'll, we'll sink a bunch of this stuff and peace out quickly and see if we can basically <laughs> hit them over the head for some colonies. What's their army logistics? 58. So they're unlikely to be able to push on any of our colonies. Uh, we might be able to push on some of those. Three of six. Okay. Well, okay. Who else do we need to <laughs> keep on sight? Again, Spain could join in. That would be an mostly annoying because I will attack Spain and try and take the Iberian Peninsula at some point, but obviously we're busy, so I'll try and keep them on side. Uh, them, yeah, them and the Americans basically. We'll we'll we'll, we'll try and uh, try and keep them out of it. Success! The invasion has begun. Uh, we have seen. Hide nor hair of the, what Germany and Cuba? Weird. Uh, oh wait, are they at war with uh, the Spanish? Also, no. The hell? Who's Germany at war with? Oh, the Americans. Okay, and the British, and the Italians, and the Chinese, and nearly the French. Wow, they're they're having a fun time. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, so. With us steaming over the border, maybe now we can take the rest of Italy. I'm just trying to think where we should maybe go and hit Western Sicily. Because um, that should be nice and easy. It's a single port province. Again, it's probably best that I, I kind of go for the easiest naval invasion targets first. That'll take me a turn to get over there I think yes it will uh, so let's um, let's tell the Americans that we like them all right a few months later uh, we have very successfully I feel invaded um, uh, Western Sicily or we are I don't even know what I pressed. I pressed yes didn't I okay good because uh, this is going to finish literally next turn so uh, all I really need to do is send a few hundred, you know, send some ships down there. Let's send these five cruisers. Uh, we can always send the battleships next turn if we need to. Because the Italians are not really doing much. The British are not doing very much either. Have we got any um, action going on down south? Uh, army doing something? No, doesn't seem like it. Uh, I'm not even sure we actually share a border. Yeah, we do. We, we They could attack South Africa if they wanted. Um, but we don't actually have that many land borders with the British, which is also good for us, generally speaking. Right. Um, the army is pushing... Oh, yes, of course, that'll be a bit of a wrinkle. The British can help the Italians. Hmm. That's very annoying. We maybe need to knock them out of the war somehow, but I don't see an obvious. Oh, we could maybe uh, we could maybe go and uh, attack them in the Persian Gulf. That might be amusing. Um, 
yeah, we'll see if we can pull it off. But uh, for now, we're going to focus on Italy, knock Italy out as best we can. I might be able to do it through naval invasions because Italy's economy has never really gotten going. So we might be able to take uh, Eastern Sicily and Southern Italy through naval invasions. Uh, and then we can send our fleet to go off and invade some British stuff, knock them out, and then wait, wait, basically wait for the army to take this stuff, potentially. But more importantly, our shipyards lie empty. Uh, we have the gun layout technology that we require. That means it's time for a new design. And that new design is going to be the Contemptor that I was attempting to start in the last episode. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go big. 22,000 tons. The Contemptor Class Dreadnought. Yes, yes, yes. Right. These could do 21 knots. That seems good to me. Um, we now have semi-oil, which is really useful. Turbines are slightly heavier, um, but we will use them anyway, um, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I have rebalanced these, but um, not yet. Because we might want to push speed at the end of the build. Guns. Now, hmm. we're going to go 13s. It is the Emperor's favourite number, after all. Uh... Should also mean that if anyone has built a Generation 1 Dreadnought, we're effectively coming in with a Generation 2 Dreadnought. What do you mean, floor? There you go. Okay. Oh, now what are you complaining about? Everything, apparently. Right, fine, go there. Uh, right, so we go 13s, and then with the. Ooh. It's tempting to get high end, but I think a six inch gun is probably about right. Uh, hmm, torpedo launchers, probably yes, but let's only put it on the front because that's a very Imperial Navy thing to do. Just have a front torpedo. Actually, no, screw it. Let's keep the let's keep the torpedo launchers on. All around. Um, cool. Go bomb it. Three. Uh, standard ratio of base fuse. Kepler stick TNT1. Cordite. 18 inch torps. Mm, let's just stick with advanced hydraulic for now. Coincidence 2. That's quite nice. And then we have all the rest of the displacement to spend on armor. Right, let's make sure that a six inch gun can't hurt us. So let's go four, four, four. Uh, and then we need to make sure our decks are suitably protected. So yeah, let's go three and 1.5. Four on the turret tops. Uh, inner deck, 
and about for 1.5. Okay. So we just have the conning tower and the turret, which would benefit from quite a lot of armor. Uh, I'm going to assume that we are going to be able to engage at relatively long range with these. We've already seen ships getting hits out to 10,000 meters pretty reliably. So I'm going to try and go for a 14-inch main belt and 16 on the turrets, which is going to add far too much weight. <laughs> it's basically like, no, no, you're not. Okay. Yeah, that is too much armor on the turrets. Let's go for 14. Uh, mid belt is still too heavy. Let's go 12. Hmm, it's too heavy. Maybe we do have to go with 12s. It's irritating. I think. 12s might be more doable on this displacement. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, because they have no armor. 14, 4, 12. Yeah, this is much closer. And, of course, because they're smaller guns... Can we shorten them, actually? What are they? 45s, yeah. That's pretty nice, but let's bring them down to be 40s. But lengthen the 6-inch guns. There we go. So a 40 caliber gun. Our 12-inch belt now protects us down to about 7,500 meters, which is good. And the turrets are now protected down to more like... 3,000 meters, which is very good, and we're 2% overweight, which we should be able to do by trimming something. I have spent a lot on armor. That reinforced main tower, too, is pretty heavy as well. And the funnel. Let's uh, rip out the funnel and put in a smaller one. Still 47 tons. Uh, let's go with that one. Um, saves a bit. Maybe I do exploit the fact that the multiple expansion engines are actually lighter. Yeah, let's do that. Um... Not enough to get the 13-inch guns back. But... I can maybe get a bit more range out of them? No. I, mean, I could just leave a little bit of displacement spare for refits down the line. So, it's not a true dreadnought because it doesn't use turbines, but the only reason it's not using turbines is because they don't work properly. Uh, in this version of the mod, I will. Uh, I will maybe uh, the next time I update version two, I'll bring over the version three tech file and uh, import that in, and that will uh, maybe help a bit with this situation. But there we go, the Contemptor class dreadnought ready to go. Right, let's go and see how many of these we can build. All right, I've ordered. Three. The Contemptor, the Ozot Friedrich, and the Viribus Unitus uh, will head out to, yes, add a considerable amount of extra firepower to our fleet. These all big gun designs, although I think I pretty much only have all big gun designs, but these have more big guns, which is excellent. Um... And yes, we will take take the fight to our enemies. However, 
For now, uh, I'm going to end with Sicily on the precipice of falling. The British uh, apparently ignoring us and dreadnoughts on the way. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.